Joining me now is faith, sports, and cultural commentator John Root. John, thank you so much for being with us. It's great to have you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Of course. So, John, you called to uh, boycott the Chosen um, for Christians, right? Just as we've done with Target and Bud Light. And I completely agree with this. This absolutely should be done in this scenario. But tell us why this is so important to you, specifically in this instance. What was it about this particular scenario that caused you to want to speak out so boldly? Well, first and foremost, uh, I try to follow about uh, a Matthew 18 model. If people are Christians themselves, they know that that model is kind of like a church discipline model. I'm going to go to this person individually, and I'm going to ask them about a sin, about a wrong. If they decide they're they're not uh, going to refuse that sin, you got to take a few people with you. And then from there, there's church discipline. So with social media, it's an interesting thing. So I saw a tweet about this flag. It was just a screenshot, so I did the investigation myself. And I tell you this because I want the narrative to be correct. I didn't all of a sudden just see this and then go zero to 100 and call for a boycott. Uh, I went to show. It's called Love and Laundry on the side of season four, 25 seconds in. There's a pride flag, so I ended up screenshotting. Uh, so people know I got it from their official YouTube. Also a close-up shot of the flag, and I asked the Chosen. Why is there a pride flag on your show? And then they came back with a response that was very, very lackluster. And it essentially defended the flag. So from there, because of that response, I called people to boycott. Because what does the pride flag stand for? And their whole show is about honoring the authentic Jesus. And if you have a pride flag on set, I don't believe you're actually doing that. Yeah, I, I totally am with you. And it shouldn't matter uh, like Dallas said, if it's a three-inch flag or a three-foot flag, right? The show is meant to honor the authentic Jesus, as you said. And this flag stands for sexual depravity and is in complete opposition to what Christianity stands for. Now, since speaking out on this, I know there's been quite a bit of controversy. Candace Owens decided to capitalize on this moment by sort of calling you out. Uh, let's take a listen to what she had to say. Ladies and gentlemen, they released a video, a promotional video of them on set. And in the background, some sleuth noticed there was a pride flag. <gasps> Take a look yourselves. Let's continue and action. So who would have thought Judas and Z doing laundry together would be one of the most. Did you see it? I saw it. You saw it too. Oh my goodness. What are we going into? So what happened next is conservatives went crazy. It sort of began with a Christian individual. His name is John Root. So John, you rightfully wanted to take a stand against not perverting a Christian show. Uh, so what's Candace's problem here? I mean, after all, this is a clear mockery of all that Jesus represents. This should absolutely offend all Christians. And I don't understand why so many are so quick to give these sorts of things a free pass. What do you make of Candace's response here? I thought she was supposedly in the same fight uh, against the radical liberal agenda. What do you make of this? Yeah, it's kind of the same thing as Dallas. It seemed like Dallas kind of downplayed the whole situation, like you mentioned. And I ended up mentioning with a long form video on YouTube uh, to Dallas and breaking down the whole situation. It's not about the size of the flag. The flag shouldn't be there first and foremost. And then when Candace came out, I was interested. I was like, hmm, is she going to be like Jeremy Boring, where he's trying to say that any uh, written piece about this boycott is disgusting? Uh, Candace ended up pushing some crazy false narrative for some reason, saying that everything was about this one cameraman. And I believe that gay people shouldn't be hired. Not once did I ever say that gay people can't be hired and work on the set of The Chosen, but it's a completely different thing to be gay and working on the set and gay and proudly displaying your gayness on the set of a show supposedly about honoring the authentic Jesus. She had multiple straw man arguments. She completely omitted what The Chosen had to say on social media. She omitted what Dallas had to say. Dallas even came out and had another live stream. Uh, actually, they no, they shared a video that was uh, pre-recorded, and then they did a live stream about a few days ago, and they tried to address everything and said nothing at all. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. 
All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.